Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we're going to be testing Revolution X Pride makeup palettes. Let's get started! These are the two cute little palettes we're going to be testing. This is the first one, it just comes in this like red, pink and blue shiny packaging which I'm obsessed with. Let's just open it up and it's got loads of little shades. How many has it actually got? One, two, three, four, five, six, 32 different colors. That's impressive. And this yeah. was only 10 pounds. That is good. And then the next little palette we've got, this has actually got four press glitters in, which we've got no glue for, so no. We can't test them, but there is one, two, three, four normal shades. I had to count then, even though there's quite clearly eight altogether. Apparently I'm not good at maths. This is very bright and colorful. I'm like completely obsessed with this pink shade. It looks more red. No, that's pink. It's not red. Right, that's it's red! That is pink! I... <laughs> Judge it! That is red! That is pink! This colour right here, the second one across, pink or red? Leave a comment in the comment box below. Just a little disclaimer before we start. We ain't makeup artists. So we have we... no makeup skills in general. I don't have any skills at all with anything. When we're testing this, we're not going to be like doing some extra... Extravagant. extravagant makeup looks we just sort of mainly testing to see like the pigmentation and how easy it is to blend and if there's any fallout etc so if you've come here looking for like a james makeup, charles level makeup yeah like i'm gonna one? start with this bottom right hand blue yeah this little dark blue color she's starting with so the first color i'm using i'm gonna probably start off easy and i'm just gonna go for this shade here like the Brownie, neutral kind of shade. I feel like to get actually like a lot of pigment out of the blue, you've got to kind of like go in. Yeah, this has got a very not a high pigmentation. This one has. I like it. For any of you who are good at makeup, please don't come for us with our lack of makeup skills. We know that we're rubbish. Also, we've got no idea where we're going with these looks either. We're just sort of winging it. I think I'm then going to go for this brown shade just there, just to sort of darken up the crease a little bit. Just gonna use the same brush because why not? I'm also using a Spectrum BO4 brush. You're using Spectrum A13. We're just running this through the crease as well to try and darken it up a little bit. I regret doing the blue. I'm gonna go for like, the top bluey shade here. This this seems like it's got a bit more pigment than the first one that I tried. Yeah, this has like a lot more pigment than the first blue that I tried. Now I'm gonna switch brushes and I'm gonna be using one from the Naked palette. I don't know which one it's from. There's no writing on it because I've had it for ages. Jesus, that is bright. So I'm just gonna blend it out. So I think I'm gonna, you know, mix it up. I'm gonna go for this pink color right there, sort of in the middle. I'm just gonna get some of that and just run it sort of just below the crease. But it's very subtle. It's not like in your face. It's not as dark as it is in the pan. This one, you're gonna have to build it up. Oh, it's... Jesus, look at that. Oh, it's like all over the face. Quite a bit of fallout. This pink isn't my favorite. I've tried better pinks in my time. I like the color that I just tried, but the first blue, not a fan. Now, I'm also gonna go for a bit of a darker pink. So, the one right at the bottom. I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm just sort of like trying to mix it in, seeing if there's much of a difference. I'm gonna go for the blue out of the second palette. So, I feel like this could be nice. Right, so, that pink I just used, there's not much difference between the first pink. I think I'm also gonna shifty over to the other palette now. So I'm gonna stink with the stink. I already do stink. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with the pink theme and I'm gonna use this one here. I think for one eye, I'm gonna try putting it on with a brush and one eye, I might try with my finger because sometimes they go on better with a finger. So I'm just gonna use the same brush, but the other end, the like flat side. So I'm literally just tapping it in this nice pink shade. I don't know why the palette's upside down. Hashtag professional YouTuber. There is a lot of fallout from it. Oh, I like this color. That is nice. I mean, I think I've used too many pinks. You can't really like see the difference. It's just all pink now. Yeah. Someone please remind me to never do blue eyeshadow. Is it not going well for you? No, look yeah. at me. Right, so for the other eye, like I say, I'm gonna dip my finger in and see if it comes out any more pigmented because when it's on the finger, like look at that. Like literally look at the swatch. Jesus. Like, it's like really pigmented. I think it actually goes on a lot better with my finger. Yeah, it does. I feel like I wanna try another color, throw another color in the mix. But I'm gonna stick to the same palette and I'm gonna use the orange color. I don't know how it goes with this look, it does not, but we're gonna throw some orange in the mix. Yay. I'm going back to the Spectrum brush. This is the BO4 brush. I feel like I'm gonna go for this kind of turquoise color here. 
we're gonna give it a go oh my god that's a lot of fallout oh wow that has gone everywhere i quite like this orange it's nice this is like a lot of fallout to be fair, I've not had much fallout with the colours I've used. That blue is just giving you like a lot, a lot of fallout. Yeah. I'm looking like a smurf. You literally are blue all over your face. Just, you're not going to save that. So I've pretty much done. I'm just going to use my finger to pop. I think I'm going to go for that colour there, the nice highlighty kind of shade. And just see if it'll lighten the inner corners up. Feels a little bit chunky. Jesus Christ. I think you should just give that up as a bad job. Probably going to avoid the blue shade. Yeah. I mean, my makeup look doesn't look good because I'm not a makeup artist. I mean, neither am I. But the colours are cute. I've not had any fallout. I have a lot of fallout. Overall, the cute palettes. I like them. Yeah. I, I just really love the packaging of this one too. It's fine. It's worth the money, I'd say. Yeah. And the other one is like... I like that one. I think this is my favourite. I mean, we've not tried the glitters yet, but as we say, we've not got the glue. Uh. And I really like the colour of this like green. Yeah, I do one. like that. The blue from this palette was really good. We're going to do a little close-up of his face so you can sort of inspect. So I hope you all have a nice laugh uh, face. Hi guys, so that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If there's any other products you want us to test, leave a comment in the box comment box in the box yeah yeah yep. just the box yeah, yeah. In the box. and if you're new here do subscribe it would mean a lot and we will see you in the next video Bye. Bye.